Again, I'll show you guys OBS if you want. OBS, again, this is my OBS. So when you put music in, right? I'll step by step this, okay? When you put a web browser in, right? And it's playing music or it's playing some kind of audio, right? It'll be right here in the middle. You'll see this moving. So it'll be like your desktop audio that you're playing something from. So you're gonna go to your desktop audio, the three little dots that right here, and you're gonna hit advanced audio properties. It's gonna pull up this. This is gonna look foreign as crap to you. To me, it doesn't look foreign, but essentially what this is doing is all these, all these things that are playing audio are going to each individual track over here, correct? The alert box, it's going to all of the tracks, right? My desktop audio though, if you notice, isn't, and same with my alert box, are not going to track number two, right? So you see how this is unchecked on track number two, but everything else has one through five, like clicked, which means you're gonna hear all of these other things, my mic, my overlays, my webcams. Tr uh, Twitch track is normally usually set at one. And I'll show you that real quick. Where, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uncheck track number two on whatever is playing your music, right? You're gonna uncheck box number two. And then you're gonna come up to the top left-hand side and go to file, go to settings, and then you're gonna go to uh, audio or no, output, right? So you're gonna click on output, your Twitch VOD track right here. So file settings, again, output, okay? It should say streaming. You're gonna need output mode advanced, not simple. Simple will not allow you to change where the audio track is. Audio track is number one right here. So this audio track right here is gonna stay at number one. And then for your Twitch VOD track, you're gonna click this, right? So you have to click this. Otherwise, it won't set it to anything. So this Twitch VOD track, you set it number two. The reason you set it at number two is because you just unchecked your desktop audio for number two. So that way, when your VOD plays back, it's going to record and listen for anything on Twitch track number two, which there's no music playing on. So you're still gonna hear my voice, the game, you're gonna hear everything back on my VODs, but you're not gonna hear music because that is routed through OBS to not be played back on Twitch VOD number two. So that's where, that's where that is. Now for upload for like, let's just say you're trying to figure out your bit rate. So anything over about 5,000 to 6,000, you don't need, unless you're running 4K, which you need 10,000, which, if you're running 4K, you must be a partner or somebody that's a part of the Twitch program that they just are pushing out for 4K. I would just tell you to run a speed test and essentially take, if you have 10, if you have 10 upload, you're gonna be able to run about two point or about 3,000. Anything above 10, just run it at about 4,500 to 5,000. So, and then of course, you're always gonna have like your tuning is low latency. That way, like when people are watching, the latency isn't, isn't insane. Uh, and the same goes to recording. If you record, you're gonna, it, it's completely different. But live streaming, that's where all this is at, right? Um, same goes to um, your, your video, right? So you guys normally output or your output scaled resolution, uh, none of you other than like, unless they've changed it, can't stream at 1080. You can only stream at like 920 or something like that. I don't, I don't remember exactly what that re ratio is. Um, also your frames per second, you don't need to ever have 60 frames per second. Reason is that's the max that it can go. And you're trying to tell your PC to push as hard as it can to hit 60 frames per second. Um, same goes to bicubic. For me, bicubic is the best because it's, it's a sharpening scale. Anything outside of that doesn't like by linear, it's fast, but blurry. If it starts to scale, you, you don't want that. That's, that's OBS in just the settings. Like that's just settings.